When did I order a K Beauty lipstick? This is literally the smoothest blush I've ever felt. Oh lord, that is pigmented AF. What's up everyone? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've sat down and shot a video. Uh, the previous video was a vlog and that I shot in July first week. So it's been a while but I am back. I'm back for good and I will be uploading consistently twice a week. So make sure you are subscribed and hit on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Having said that, today's video is very very exciting for me personally because I will be unboxing makeup and it's been a while since again I've shopped for makeup. I don't shop for makeup as often but then Nykaa had its uh, what sale? I forgot the name. I'll insert it here. Anyways, Nykaa had its sale and I got tempted and bought few things and they're all completely new makeup and even new brands that I've never tried so I'm very very excited to just unbox it and share this experience with all of you. Also just a disclaimer this is not sponsored by Nykaa. I wish it was but it's not. And I also got some makeup PR packages, which is a rare occurrence in my life. So I thought I'll share the makeup PR package in this video as well. If you're interested in all the fun makeup beauty stuff and just want to chill with me for the next 10-15 minutes, then please continue watching. Alright, so I think first we will unbox Nykaa stuff. I have this Nykaa packaging which says Nykaa Luxe. I've never received this packaging. <laughs> wow, this is so stunning. Let's open this together and... Oh! I was wondering like I did not order anything from Nykaa Lux. These are basically the freebies that I got after purchasing the other things. It was quite a tempting sale like I mentioned. Look at how it's packaged. Like, this is so cool. Are you kidding me? Okay, this is hilarious. I got the MAC Prep and Prime as a freebie and I did not think it is so freaking tiny. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, I knew it wasn't the full size, but I didn't think it'll be so tiny. But, well, it's okay. It's a good sample size for me to check if it's actually worth the hype. This is the tiny cute bottle. Also, please ignore my nails. They're ugly, ugly because I just removed my nail extensions. Anyways, the next one is this beauty of a product that I've been wanting to try for years and years. It is the Clinique Moisture Surge. It is a mini tub. Such a cute tub. This is how Moisture Surge looks. Hmm has a very slight fragrance. Let me just take like the tiniest amount because it is expensive and I'm gonna see if it's good. There you go. Oh, wow. Okay. The texture is so smooth. Like even now it feels like very velvety. I really can't wait to use this. So with the MAC Prep and Prime, I also got this mini uh, lipstick and this is in the shade Meher and I'm so glad I got Meher because Meher again is a very hyped up shade but you didn't really get to choose the shade for the freebies like they just said you can get any shade so I am very 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 happy it is Meher and we have the MAC mini lipstick this is such a pretty shade and something I would really wear every day you know what we are going to try this right now because well why not also for anyone wondering I was wearing Nykaa Top Thrill. It's been my ride or die lipstick for years and I keep getting asked which lipstick I'm wearing all the time and it's mostly this shade. So yeah, just letting you all know. Why do I feel like Meher will be a very similar shade to Top Thrill? Like it looks similar. I love how smoothly and precisely it glides onto my lips. Like I didn't even use a mirror, I was just looking into the screen. Oh my god, I love this color. I hope you guys can see the color. It's very similar to Taupe Thrill. It does have a slight pinkish undertone than Taupe Thrill. Like Taupe Thrill is very neutral. So yeah, those were all the luxury products that I got which were basically free. Now moving on to the next box. I've been honestly loving this new sort of package filling that Nykaa has been having which is much more sustainable and environmental friendly. <laughs> I've been so excited for K-Beauty Loose Powder. I have never ever tried K-Beauty. There was an initial hype with it because of course it's Katrina Kaif's line. But then the hype continued because the products are actually good and it's not just because of Katrina Kaif. So that really got me thinking and I was like, you know, I need to try their products out. I got vanilla and I'm not sure honestly if that is my shade. But the good thing about these loose powders are that one shade can easily match a variety of skin tones. So I'm just 
just hoping that this will do the same. This is how the lid looks and this is how the entire packaging looks. It looks very luxurious. I have to open this and this is where the powder comes. So we already have some powder here. They don't have like a brush or any sponge that comes with it, which I feel is fine because anyways, I think most people use their own uh, powder brushes. This is so soft, like this net mesh, whatever you want to call it. And that is the powder. Okay, Ankini child is put. I love it. It's so fine. Oh, wow. Okay. It definitely like mattified my otherwise slightly oily and sweaty face right now because there's no fan and it's getting a little hot. Of course, you can't see it properly like this and I'm not a review channel as such. So I'm just like literally experiencing it for the first time in front of you guys. I'm sure even on camera you can pick it up. Like I don't think it gives much coverage honestly, but it does smoothen out your pores. 100% it controls the oil. Thankfully, shave eyes, I thought it might be too light, but it really blends in so, so well, like literally. So very, very happy with that and I love the texture. It's extremely smooth. Another K-Beauty product. When did I order a K-Beauty lipstick? Oh, okay. This is also a freebie. So this is the shade called Playback and I actually never ordered it like I expected. It was a freebie with the K-Beauty products. So this is how the packaging looks. So this is how the brownish color looks. I'm just coming a bit close and... Oh, this is even smoother than my hair. Like, it's super smooth. Oh, and it's drying matte. Wow, okay. I can't even do this much because utna fast it's drying to a matte finish. It's a rustish nude and it's so freaking pretty. Let me see if it transfers. Okay, there's nothing here. I'm gonna just kiss and it's not completely smudge proof it does transfer a bit but not too much and i think this much is like okay with me as long as it's not like the entire lipstick is on your cup or your mask or whatever definitely a thumbs up for now i'm gonna see how long this is gonna last wow a random thing that i got is this himalaya ka sparkling white toothpaste and i really want to wet my teeth i know there's the famous Kiara Advani wala ad, Colgate Whitening or something like that. Uh, that's the most popular one. But that actually had like very lukewarm reviews as opposed to this one, which everyone was like, wow, it's working so well. I will let you know the truth. We have a random brand, extremely random brand that I picked up solely because of the reviews. And this is the N Pucker. It's a hydrating lip mask. So the reason I got this is because I was anyways looking for a new lip balm. That's why I got this particular one. They had amazing, amazing reviews. And I did want a slight tint. Wow guys, look at the color of this packaging. And this is how the actual packaging looks. Okay. Not a huge fan of the smell. Yeah, and this is how it looks inside. That's the shade. I'm gonna just slightly put it like that. Okay, it's very, very smooth and hydrating, which is what you hope from a lip balm, obviously. And there's a slight tint, very, very slight tint, which I'm fine with, like, that's enough for a lip balm, at least. I think this is one thing that I was really, really excited for. And it is from K-Beauty again, because, like I said, I really wanted to give this brand a shot. And I got their very, very hyped up and popular blush. It is a matte blush enriched with avocado and mango butter. And guys, just look at the packaging, like... It is so, so beautiful and almost looks like luxurious in a way. The shade I got is called a soft nude. Oh my God. Just look at that packaging, guys. If this does not scream luxury, I don't know what does. And I love how the shade is all over the packaging. And it has this gorgeous mirror. And this is how the shade looks. It is exactly what I pictured. First impression. <gasps> Are you kidding me? This is literally the smoothest blush I've ever felt. And it is so, so pigmented. Like, just one swipe. Let me just put it against my hand. Wow, look at that pigmentation, guys. This is crazy. This is gonna last me a long, long time. But you know what? I'm just gonna take a bit on my hand and... Oh, God, that's a lot. Be careful. You can look like a clown if you're not careful. But, yeah... Ooh, I love, love the shade. Not too bad, but definitely needs to blend better. That's because I'm using my hands and I'm not used to it. Beautiful. It's gorgeous, guys. I highly recommend it. And it's also going to last you a long time. So the price you pay is definitely worth it. With that, we are done with the Nykaa sale haul part of the video. And I am extremely, extremely happy with everything that I got. So yeah, a lot of new products to try out and let you all in on my experience with it. So yeah, make sure you are part of MedFam to just be updated with actual honest reviews about these products after use. Now moving on to one of the PR packages that I got and this is from My Glam. And I love what this says here. Oh hey beautiful, stop reading this and unbox me immediately. You're going to love what's inside. 
It is so lightweight. I'm wondering what is inside. Oh! <laughs> Okay, one product in this huge ass box. Not very happy with the packaging. I mean, they could have just done with a smaller box. Uh, not hating on the company or anything, but just I think companies can take feedback, right? So I really hope they come with a smaller, more sustainable way of packaging just one product. This is their liquid matte lipstick. Let's open this up. I've never tried a My Glam product before. So like I said, this video is all about trying out new products. This is how the shade looks. Mmm, I love the smell. It smells very similar to Kylie Jenner's uh, liquid lipsticks. I feel these shades are quite similar, but this is definitely going to be much darker in color, obviously. But they are from the same uh, shade family, like very rust sort of color. I'm actually going to apply this on top of this because I'm pretty sure this is pigmented enough and the base shouldn't really matter. So I'm gonna apply this. Oh lord, that is pigmented AF. Okay. <laughs> Stunning, stunning color. It does dry matte. This is what I'm saying. Like this literally seems like the same uh, shade family, but this is definitely way more darker. But love, love this. It's completely dry. Now I'm going to try just doing the transfer test. We have a clean slate here. Very, very little transfer here. And that's basically that powdery thing that you have on your lip line, which is very normal with liquid lipsticks like this. But other than that, this in my books definitely passes the transfer test. And that is very, very good news, especially in the mask era that we all are living in. Thank you so much for sending this over. So we also have other few products that I just unboxed, but I haven't really opened any of them. So we have one more My Glamka lipstick, but this is a creamy matte finish. Oh, wow. I love this packaging. So this is how the shade looks swatch it there you go we have another lipstick and this is from faces canada it's like a bright vibrant pink color which honestly is not my cup of tea i'm more into the nudes and the browns and just that sort of shade family than bright pinks and reds oops i've forgotten how to swatch guys bought time <laughs> Very pretty color and the texture is extremely, extremely smooth. We have another product from Faces Canada. This is their brow defining pencil. Ooh, I have been using the NYX tinted brow mascara for years. And I'll be lying if I said I don't get bored of that product. I do, but I always come back to it because it is the simplest brow product that I've been using for years and it works so, so well. I sort of made a mess while opening the product. Here's a glimpse of the shade. Almost a black, but it's not. It's like a very, very deep brown, which I'm going to brush out with the other end. Ooh, it is so fine and very stiff product. Utna use nahi kiya, but jitna bhi kiya, I think it's a good product. But of course, I'll have to use it a lot more to let you all know if it's going to replace my Ride or Die, which is the next tinted brow mascara. Okay, next we have this uh, lipstick from Blue Heaven. A quick swatch. <gasps> oh my god, is this going to be my new favorite lip color 07 shade and texture wise definitely gets a thumbs up but of course i will be trying it all out later and lastly we have two eyeshadow palettes just showing you guys a quick sample of them i think i want to do a giveaway of these products like of course i won't be using them yeah i just have too many blushes now and i know i won't be using all of them so yeah stay tuned for a giveaway very soon on my channel for 50 Yes, that's what I'm ending this video with. So stay tuned for that. Stay subscribed. And if you enjoyed watching this haul video, this beauty haul video after ages, make sure you do hit the like button and comment down below what was your favorite product. Have you tried any of these products? And of course, if you aren't already, make sure you do follow me on my Instagram because that's where I also unbox a lot of stuff on my stories, put daily updates, show behind the scenes, post a lot of fun dance reels. So you'll be missing out on a lot if you're not following me on my Instagram as well. I will see you in my next video. Till then, stay happy, positive and blessed. Bye.